In 2007, 19-year-old Thailand striker Tirasil Dangda made his one and only appearance in the AFC Asian Cup when he came on as a late substitute in the 1-1 draw with Iraq. Now 30 years old, he will be the sole surviving player from that squad when the Thais kick off their 2019 Asian Cup campaign in the United Arab Emirates against India on January the 6th. When Tirasil was starting out 12 years ago, he played alongside some of the biggest names in Thailand's first golden generation, with legendary striker Kittisak Senamung, 34 years old, and skipper Tochtawans Tripan, two years older. Their peak had come between 1996 and 2002 as they won three AFF Cup titles, came fourth in the 1998 Asian Games, reached the qualifying round of the World Cup for the first time, and hit 43 in the FIFA rankings. This generation was managed by former Aston Villa striker Peter Wythe for several years, but other Englishmen would be less successful. Peter Reid and Brian Robson had spells in charge between 2008 and 2011, but neither could even win Southeast Asia's Biennial AFF Cup. Germany's Winfried Schaefer could not stop the rot, losing the 2012 AFF Cup final and departing during the 2015 Asian Cup qualification campaign that saw the Thais suffer six defeats out of six. Kittisak was given the manager's job in 2014, and he would soon turn things around and nurture a new generation of Thai talent. A fourth-placed finish for the under-23 side at the 2014 Asian Games was a step in the right direction. Kittisuk used many of these players to form the backbone of his team as he sought to distance himself from past failures. Goalkeeper Kawim Tansachinan and playmaker Chanatip Songkrasin were two of the standout players, and they would be crucial members of the squad that won the AFF Cup for the first time in 12 years in 2014, with Chanatip the tournament MVP. The Thais played expansive, possession-based football, with wing-backs darting forwards from deep and attacking midfielders supporting the lone striker. They even managed to win this competition without two of the key components of the team. Tirasel missed the tournament as he was on loan at UD Almera in Spain, but would return to play a key role in Thailand's 2018 World Cup qualifying campaign. Left wing-back Tiraton Bumatan would also return as skipper, goalscorer and creator. For just the second time in their history, Thailand made it to the final qualifying round. Kitasuk remained committed to his attacking principles, but the wheels came off when they faced some continental heavyweights. The first four games in the final round ended in defeat. The AFF Cup was retained in 2016, as Thailand again proved the best in Southeast Asia, but back in World Cup qualifying, 3-0 and 4-0 defeats to Saudi Arabia and Japan proved too much, and Kittasuk resigned in March 2017, after criticism from the president of the Football Association of Thailand. Former Ghana boss Milovan Rajavac came in and promised to address Thailand's defensive weaknesses, with success in the 2019 Asian Cup very much his priority. Despite the failure to make an impression in the World Cup qualifying group, several Thai players had caught the eye playing for both club and country. Wang Tong United's Tirasil, Chanatip, Kawin and Tiraton were on the radar of overseas clubs, and Chanatip moved to Japan's Consadole Sapporo on loan in the summer of 2017. Tirasil and Tiraton would follow Chanatip to the J-League on loan deals at the beginning of the following year, while Kawin moved to Belgium. Without these four players, the Thais relinquished their AFF Cup title in 2018, but they will be back for the Asian Cup, and this could be the last time they have the opportunity to achieve something significant together. But Thailand have been playing without the attacking swagger that was characteristic of Kitasuk's time in charge. Rajavac's favoured 4-2-3-1 formation is supposed to provide a strong shield for the defence and keep the fullbacks focused on their defensive duties. Under Kitasuk, the sight of two wing-backs bombing up the flanks excited fans, but they've not been so thrilled by the pragmatic approach adopted by the new coach, where the result is the only thing that matters. The minimum requirement in the UAE is to advance to the last 16 from a group that features the hosts, Bahrain and emerging India. It would be a real shame if the talent in this Thailand side was not rewarded with an eye-catching performance at the highest level in Asia. By the time the next tournament comes around, Tirasil will be 34, while Tiratan and Kawin will be 33. Tanatip, the youngest of these four talents, will be pushing 30, and might not have the same influence in the absence of some of his best supporting players. Thailand's golden generation hasn't enjoyed the best of luck, with three of their most promising midfielders suffering serious knee injuries that have hindered their development. Other players have found themselves out of favour, as Rajavac does not feel they fit into his system, and Thailand have often considered themselves as falling between two stools. Too good for Southeast Asia, as their record of five AFF Cup titles suggests, but not good enough to play against the best that Asia has to offer. There might never be a better time to put that right, with four players on board who have gone beyond the confines of the Thai league to play at a higher level.
Janatip was named Consadole's Player of the Year in 2018, while Tiraton has been playing alongside Andres Iniesta and Lucas Podolski at Vissel Cope. Tirasil was not always a starter at Semfreci Hiroshima, but he netted seven league goals as his club ended the season as runners-up. Cohen, meanwhile, has featured regularly under Nigel Pearson in Belgium's second tier. Despite his unpopularity for his tactical approach, in Rajavac they have a manager who reached the quarter-final of the 2010 World Cup. And Thailand have also been handed a draw that sees progress very much within their grasp, an expanded Asian Cup format seeing 16 teams out of 24 moving out of the group stages. Thailand should really be aiming for the last eight, an achievement that would provide a fitting measure of the progress made since Kitasuk put his faith in the young talent he had at his disposal. Chanatip is the poster boy for this team, and fans will hope that the new coach adopts the system that makes the most of his creative talents. Thailand expects a return from its latest golden generation, and now is the time to make it happen.